most of the common questions that people have when they are using any controller, uh, in this case we have the Optima DMX Monster that uh, very popular and a lot of people buy, will it work with other DMX equipment I have? Uh, in this case I took a, a metric DMX demo pack and a Chave DMX demo pack DMX4. I could take a intelligent picture, I could take any DMX slide, as long as it doesn't have more than 16 channels, I could connect it together. And in this case, I'm just showing a configuration where I connected my DMX, metric DMX to the Chave and to the controller. Um, I'm just going to use them as the same channel, where I'm going to control channel 1, 2 from this demo pack and channel 3 and 4 from this demo pack. They look together through DMX and again I'm going to my controller, picture 1, channel 1, I'm controlling my first light, I'm controlling my second light, and then my third light will be on the Chave DMX. So this is just to show you that I'm able to control any light that is DMX in link. And the way you do it, you come out from your controller into your demon pack or into your light input, and then from the output of the first light into the input of the second light, and so on and so on. So it goes out, in, out, in, out, in, and so on. Um, another, another important thing to remember is that these demon packs are very cost-effective demon packs. Um, a lot of people sometimes say, wow, I have only 16 channels, I can use only 15 amps total load. What should I do? I have more than that. I found that to be a very cost-effective way to do it is you buy multiple channels or multiple dimmers, and you use them as the same channel like I did right now. I have two dimmer packs, but I spread my load. I put two channels here and two channels here, using them as a single channel, as a four channel dimmer, as a single dimmer. Still, my cost of buying these two dimmer packs, in this case, it would be, let's say, an Optima Metrix DMX, at the cost of those dimmer packs, or the Bulb America, or whoever, that is very cost effective unit. I could use them again as in combination as a single dimmer by splitting the load two and two and still get much lower than a more expensive dimmer pack that will give me the same load. Uh, I could do that or I could do each one of them to be separate channels. Like right now I'll break this one into A001 and this one I'll go into A05. That means this controller is controlling channel one, two, three, four. This one is five, six, seven, eight. Because I don't have lights in here, I'll be able to control channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, 4, 5, 6, I have no light, but then it's going to be 7 and 8. Just to show you, so I'm controlling channel 1, channel 2, like I said, channel 3 I have nothing, channel 4 I have nothing, you can see the indicator coming in, channel 5, channel 6, and now I'm going to be controlling channel 7, and channel 8. So as you could see, I'm able to control separate channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 from just setting up as A001 and A005. And if I wanted to be cost effective, I could use them as a single channel by setting them up to A001 and just breaking down the channel 2 and 2.